Alright, uh, hello you guys. Today I'm bringing you a video on how to make a simple electromagnet out of an old transformer like one of these from your house. And yes, it will be destroyed when you get done. But it will give you a very, very nice electromagnet. And this is probably the best design so far i found. It's got a good magnetic flux, which will hold quite a bit. Um, so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get an old busted transformer like this one. I haven't torn it apart yet. You're going to want to get a hacksaw of some sort. <laughs> this is all I have right now. Uh, a little piece for a lockpick, and I'll hold it with my toes because I have nothing else. And you just want to hacksaw it in half, which I'm not going to do that because that one's good. But, and once you get done with that, you'll have something that looks kind of like this. And you'll have pieces going, in, this will be inside of it. And they'll go inside on top of each other like that. Across those print, there will be a coil here and a coil there. One of them will have lots of little wire that goes to the house. The uh, main power. This one will be whatever voltage, 9, 12, whatever you're getting out. This one should have some thicker wire on it. You want the one with the thicker wire. The little thin wire, 90% chance will not be big enough for this. So, what I used from it was the secondary from a MOT, which is a microwave oven transformer. It has some pretty nice grade wire for this. Um, as you can see there with finger comparison, hopefully. It's not going to focus, but okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to split that transformer apart. Just take it and uh, razor blade, pull it up, pry it out. Eventually you'll get there and they'll split apart. Unwind everything and then go on this and find a spot where the wire is going to come out. Wind it around once to that spot. And every time you wind it around to that spot, count. Once you get to around 250, wind maybe one or two more in case you missed or less if you think you got too many then when you get done with that take out the secondary the second wire and clip it now take a DC power supply I'm pretty sure it's only DC I haven't tried AC yet but you take out your power supply and mine is a 9 volt there it is Nine, I'll put it at the top of the frame, hopefully. 9 volt, 850 milliamps. And you wire that to one side of the coil and the other side of the coil. Should be wrapped around this uh, little bobbin thing here. Insert all the pieces you can find onto the top part. And squeeze them in nice and tight. And you'll get something that looks like this. And now this is my electromagnet. Now this is a heavy lock. It is very, very heavy. You can see you get nothing. Now when you take it and you take this power plug and my battery's almost dead. Plug it in. Oops. The wire is coming loose. Assistance. Technical difficulties. There we go. You can see it easily picks up this lock. And I just pulled the wire loose again. There. Eh. The wire keeps coming loose. But this thing will easily pick up the lock. Oh, God. That wire keeps dislodging from the lock. Or from the transformer wire. But if it stays on, this thing will easily pick up this lock, which is very, very heavy. Ah. Uh, it's a master number 532 if anyone knows what it is and that lock is pretty good so if um, you make this it should pick up some pretty heavy stuff and you can test it it's a good way to go and goodbye